Hi, I'm John with Rio Grande, here to show you how to adjust the collet in your H20 handpiece. Let's get started. There will come a time that you will need to adjust the collet in your H20 handpiece. You can see I've got a burr in this handpiece. It uh, is in the locked, my lever is in the locked position, but the burr will slide right out. Now there's a couple things that can cause this. Over time, just use. Uh, the act of inserting and removing burrs will wear the inside of the collet. It's a, it's a steel against a steel, and the steel of the burrs are typically harder than the steel of the collet. So just over time and use can cause a collet to start to wear enough that it's not going to hold your burr securely. Another thing is there's a small set screw in the collet, and I'll show you that here in a minute, that can back off a little bit, causing your collet to back out, and, uh, and then that would cause the collet to uh, not hold on to the burr as securely as it should either. So, like I say, there are a couple things that, uh, that are going to require a, an adjustment of the collet. And uh, also this is, uh, you know, this is a, a, an H20. This is a uh, quick change handpiece. And like all quick change handpieces, you need to make sure that you store a burr in your handpiece at all times. Uh, regardless, if it's just uh, hanging on your flex shaft or it's, uh, it's sitting in the drawer of your bench, you need to make sure that there is a burr in the collet and the collet is locked uh, at all times. The reason for that is uh, if, you, if you store it without a burr in it, over time the collet can collapse. And whenever the collet collapses, then it's time to replace a collet. So uh, you need to make sure that, uh, that uh, like I say, always store a, uh, a burr in your collet. And uh, if you feel that uh, the collet needs to be replaced, then this is the way that you're going to replace the collet as well. So, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and adjust this collet. So the first thing you need to do is take off this cap, remove this cap, and uh, there is usually like a little felt dust cover that's inside of the cap. It's just a little uh, round felt disc. Um, mine does not have that any longer. So, um, so this reveals the shaft of the flex shaft. This is where your bit goes into and this is your collet. If you turn the lever you're going to see that collet raise up and whenever you put the lever down you're going to see that that collet comes down. So in your with your handpiece you would have gotten a allen wrench. This is a 1 16th inch Allen wrench, and this is what you use to adjust the collet. I'm going to take this collet apart. Um, since it's already loose, all I have to do is grab a hold of the collet and spin it out. And there is the collet. Now, down inside of the collet, this there is a small jam screw. Um, it's like a little set screw that's on the inside of this. And if you, if you can't engage that set screw with the Allen wrench, chances are that there is, uh, there is shavings and there is stuff that are in here preventing you from engaging into that set screw. So you can always take uh, a, a little piece of thin wire, reach in there, kind of clean that out, tap it, and the stuff will come out of that, that collet. And then you're going to be able to go ahead and engage that set screw. I'm going to pull this or, or run the set screw out just so that you can see it. All right. See that set screw. Okay. This is what locks the collet into the shaft. And this is how you adjust it. So what you should do is run it Make sure that there is about, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch, something like that, um, between the top of the collet and the top of the set screw. And just do this by eye. You don't have to measure. 
and then the collet goes into the handpiece and the collet will screw on to a screw that's inside of this shaft. And you want to take this down until it stops. All right. Now, I know right now that this is probably set pretty well just because the top of the collet, if you look, it kind of flares out right here. And where that flare meets this part of the shaft that you're screwing it into is approximately where the correct adjustment's at. So what I can do is I'll open this up, I'll stick my bit in, I'll close it, and I'll see if it pulls out. See, this is still loose. All right. So I'm going to reach in with my Allen wrench, and I'm going to back off that set screw a couple of turns, and then I'm going to screw in the collet a couple of turns until it stops. Then I will retest and see if it locks my bit. And there it is. It's nice, nice and locked in there now. All right. Now, since I know that this is where I want to keep it, I'm going to pull my bit back out. I am not going to allow the collet to move just by holding it. And I'm going to stick my sets or my Allen wrench in. I'm going to engage the set screw and I'm going to tighten the set screw down. All right. Now test again, make sure your bit goes in, make sure it doesn't come out and you're all set. Go ahead and put your cap back on and you're ready to start using your H20 again. And that's how you adjust the collets on an H20 handpiece. If you have any questions, contact us.